guys for a uh, semantic backup exec uh, tutorial today uh, I'll be starting about some advanced troubleshooting uh, this is uh, the class one so uh, yeah we will be uh, uh, talking about various uh, tools that that will be used for advanced troubleshooting and semantic backup exec okay so the first tool uh, today uh, I want to talk about is let me quickly go to the uh, installations uh, directory semantic backup exec so it's uh, sgmon so that is my first uh, tool so this is the interface this is nothing but a de debug monitor it's it's uh, the exe file is sgmon.exe which will be there under program files semantic backup exec see here you can see we have different options one is start capturing stop capturing capture capture to console capture to file event bed capture and scheduler clear console settings combine view b engine b remote b server management pvs pillar catalog so these are these tabs we will be using for uh, capturing various backup exec modules like b engine module let's say it's crashing or b remote or b server management or uh, it's something related to media and it's something to do with the catalog so this sgmon debug monitoring tool help us to identify the uh, capture live logs so what i'm gonna do is i'll click on uh, so currently there is live debugging no log capture options are selected so i'll click here click on uh, i'll go to settings and um, okay so okay so this is what multiple always so apply okay Okay, click on start capturing. I'll go back here. I'll select the uh, log settings. I already mentioned to select now the debug settings. Okay, uh, agent browser, enable backup exec. So basic log, job log, performance. I don't want to performance log, cat log. I want to select the cat log debugging device and media. I want to job engine yes so user interface custom feedback so click on apply click on ok now this should start capturing something for us see now we started capturing ok so this is a combined view so it's showing something and be remote nothing so what I'm gonna do is just minimize and uh, let's see I'll perform some activity here and I'll go back let's see it is capturing or not something Let's see. It's still coming up in the background. So, so this is how you will uh, capture something for the live monitoring of the uh, logs, uh, which helps uh, kind of a deep dive, guys. So it's still loading. Okay. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I will just click on. Uh, I'll click on Run now. Okay. I'm just running a backup here just for the just for a purpose and let's see it's do we okay now DC it's something we have so yeah this is how it, it starts I go for being B remote see it's started capturing and B uh, server is started capturing and catalog it should come once the backup finishes so this is how it start capturing guys and uh, you can identify you can Deep, perform a deep dive depending upon the the process ID and the process name and uh, with the debug message that gives complete uh, overview of you so and these logs you can check the uh, the location where exactly it's saving so it, it's under log files so I go and click on here and the file name it's also showing as uh, uh, ends with sgmon.log okay so I'll go back here um i'll go here and uh, backup exec so log files it's 
so where is the log? This is the logs and uh, log files sgmon. I think it's on catalog. No. This is the file. Okay, so this is the log file that is uh, captured here. And if I'll go back here, we should see uh, some kind of an activity. Yeah, it's still, still doing something. And let's see what is the status of the backup here. Quickly, it is scheduled. It's finished actually. So. So go back here and I'll select the settings. Okay, I'll enable everything. SQL log, message log, performance log, message queue scheduler. Okay, I'll load to management so I'll enable everything okay debug log catalog it's already done it's there so job user interface already click on apply click on okay I'll go back here now and I'll, uh, I'll do clear console right click run now yes so I'll go back here now. It should read on the uh, the backup. See now, let's say it, it started capturing now again. So this is what happens, guys. So this is just a, a, a test environment. So we are not getting unable to capture. Uh, I mean, um, deep dive information. But however, this is very helpful in the live environment when you're doing uh, some deep dive in front of the customer so uh, so stay tuned for more videos like this and i'll be talking about more uh, advanced tools uh, for semantic backup exec and uh, thank you so much for watching and subscribe to my channel um, have a nice day guys bye bye